you should upgrade your phone. You could use a bigger TV, right? Feeling depressed? Hey, don't worry, just buy a Tesla. Oh my God. Well, these days it feels like we're in a constant daze of consumerist noise. Everywhere we look, there are ads, endorsements, sponsorships, and that makes it incredibly hard to know the difference between clever marketing and things that can actually benefit our lives because that's the point of buying things, right? They should add some level of value to our lives and that in turn should make us happier people. But does it? Hey friends, how's it going? I hope you're having a great day. Uh, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be talking about four pieces of tech that I believe bring genuine value into my life. Now, I do believe that buying things won't directly make you a happier person long term, but every now and again something pops up that either helps solve an issue or aids you in creating better habits, which in turn can improve your life and your general happiness, I believe. Um, so let's talk about that. So first is my Philips wake up light. So I hate waking up, especially when you live in the UK where it's dark and cold all of the time. In December, the sun doesn't even come up until 8 a.m., which is why wake up lights are an absolute game changer for me. They essentially recreate a sunrise with a powerful red to yellow light over the space of 30 minutes, which gently wakes you up far kinder than an aggressive alarm. Does that trigger you a little bit? It doesn't for me, because I wake up to a nice light and the smooth tones of BBC Radio 2. So light has a powerful effect on your circadian clock, as it essentially sends signals to the brain when you should be asleep or awake, and your body is most sensitive to light in the first hour of waking up. So having this thing shine really bright in your face every morning really helps regulate that circadian rhythm and makes waking up much easier and more natural no matter what time of year it is. How is my pretend waking up there? Is that's some good acting. Now you can honestly use any wake up light, they all sort of do the same thing, but I've been using this one from Philips for the last seven years, uh, and it's been great. And it's gotten to the point where me and Hannah really struggle without it. We'll go and stay in a hotel and be like, oh, I just can't bear to wake up without my Philips smart sleep alarm clock. It's honestly so lame. <laughs> so next is my Apple Watch, but this could honestly be any fitness tracker. So there's two reasons that this is on the list. First is that it holds me accountable to exercise. And second, it greatly improves my relationship with my phone. So let's start with exercise. Now listen, I'm really not a big exercise guy. I'm not into running marathons or even half marathons for that matter. <coughs> I'm not ripped. I'm not hoping to get ripped. Sorry, Hannah. <laughs> oh, God, it. Oh, Jesus. But my God, Regular exercise is an absolute game changer uh, for my mental health. For the last year, I've made a real conscious effort to get to the gym three or four times a week and go for a 20 minute walk every morning. And who oh boy, I feel so much better for it. It's crazy. To the point where I don't think I can see myself not exercising uh, for the rest of my life because life's just much harder without it, to be honest. I'm sorry about the cringy exercise videos but i'm trying to make the point but what's that got to do with this well this is one of the big reasons that i stayed so consistent with working out it sounds so stupid but those rings and the little reminders you get just get me man if i go to bed at night and those rings aren't closed it feels like someone's looking at me like And it makes you so conscious of how you're moving in general compared to just a step count with separate rings for movement, standing and activity. And it feels like it turns the process of moving into a game. Like you get this little animation when you hit all your rings and it just feels like... Yes, dude, you absolutely smashed it today. And for me, that's what I needed to hold me accountable to ensure that I was working out uh, three or four times a week and I was going for a little walk every morning. And physically and mentally, I feel so much better for it. And the second reason is that it greatly improves my relationship with my phone. I don't know about you, but I usually always have my phone on me as I'm always conscious that someone may urgently need me or in case like an accident happens. But this comes with the massive downside that having your phone on you all the time, um, it's just so distracting. But with my watch, if I'm in the house, I can leave my phone in another room or just way out of reach and I still get the notifications to my wrist. But without my phone there, I don't find myself picking up and just getting caught in the scroll. And this is further helped out by the fact you can take calls and respond to messages with this. So if someone really needs me, um, I don't have to go like running upstairs to grab my phone or something. So next is my Kindle. Now look, I know what you're thinking. I hate reading. The only books I read are mangas. And I feel you. Trust me. 
but honestly, I've never been a big reader. For most of my life, it's just something I couldn't get into. I'm a very, very, very slow reader. Several books I've tried to read in the past, I just didn't really enjoy. But this thing made me a reader. I swear by this thing so hard. It's one of the best things, hands down, I have ever bought in my entire life. And, and now, as you probably already know, the benefits to reading are huge. Increased concentration and the ability to focus, which I need. It's just a great all-round exercise for your brain. Reading before bed can dramatically improve sleep. You can obviously learn a load of sick things and that just helps you improve your life in lots of different ways. Knowledge. And also, reading can just be super fun. <laughs> Jesus, I sound like one of those guys that comes into your school like... <laughs> hey kids, you know what's not cool? Drugs. <laughs> yeah. Nah, us cool kids are into way rather things. Yeah. yeah. Anyone ever heard of Wind in the Willows? Nah, but really, uh, reading certain books has had a huge impact on my life. The Art of Happiness was one of the biggest inspirations for me to start volunteering, which then led to me starting a charity with some friends. Uh, and that's now essentially my main job and it's something that I'm really proud of. But Mike, you don't need a Kindle to read good books. No, you don't. You're absolutely right. But a Kindle, in my opinion, makes reading much easier, uh, more accessible and straight up more enjoyable, which will make you read more. Even if you're not a reader, I almost guarantee it. For a start, it's just way more comfortable. Forget having to hold a book open with two hands and balancing the light in the right way to make you see the page for a couple hours. No matter where you are, it's just one hand, perfect visibility, super light, and you can adjust the text size and even use a dark mode, which for me makes reading much easier. No more having to hoard tons of physical books. If you start reading a book you don't like, just stop reading it. You can download another one for super cheap in seconds and try that instead. And for me, that's a massive key as I feel like the most important thing with reading is to find books that resonate with you and that you enjoy. And that does take a little bit of experimenting and trying different things. But anyway, this thing just makes me way more likely to read books and therefore benefit from all the things that great books have to offer. Okay, and last is my Steam Deck. So this is obviously not gonna be one for everyone, um, but for me, and a ton of you guys as well, it's a good one. So in a nutshell, I love games, uh, and the Steam Deck allows me to fit gaming into a busy adult life much easier than a console or a PC. It means I can play while still hanging out with Hannah or just in little bits of free time I get throughout the day. And it's sick because you can get just about any game you can think of on here. AAA games, uh, old childhood favorites, indie games. And in my opinion, the hardware is just great. It's powerful enough to run just about any game I've tried. Even pretty demanding games can run at like 45 frames at medium settings, which is more than enough for me. The speakers are great, the screen's really nice. The controls feel amazing. Now I've made a full video as to why I love the Steam Deck so much that you can check out if you want to, but I can already sense a lot of people saying, but Mike, gaming's a total waste of time. Now, while I don't have time to properly go into this topic, um, for the most part, I completely disagree. Uh, but like everything, it's all about moderation. If two or three times a week you're having a laugh playing Halo with your friends or are experiencing an amazing story with fun gameplay and beautiful music, that doesn't sound like a waste of time to me. However, if you're racking up hundreds of hours a week playing League of Legends and you find yourself just feeling unfulfilled and unhappy, then in that case, things might be a bit different, uh, but equally, you do what you want. If playing hundreds of hours on League of Legends genuinely makes you happy, you do that, man. I'm not here to tell you what makes you happy and what doesn't. Just for me, I know that spending too much time playing things like games and not balancing that out with other things like exercise or reading uh, just makes me feel like crap. But yeah, for me, over the years, I've spent a long time playing games and I honestly don't regret it at all. I've had an absolute blast playing tons of games, either with my friends or solo. And yeah, for me, the Steam Deck just allows me to enjoy all of that, um, despite having a busy, hectic adult life. Now the thing is, despite these things bringing genuine value into my life, um, they are still completely unnecessary. You don't need any of these gadgets really to reap the most important benefits of the things we've been talking about today. If you want to feel better within yourself and healthier, um, go for a run three or four times a week and hold yourself accountable with like a tick chart on the wall or through a friend. You'll get all the same benefits that I said about like this Apple Watch. 
um, totally for free. If you want to learn and increase your ability to concentrate and get inspired, um, a library pass is usually free or you can buy a ton of cheap books from a charity shop because happiness is much more than just buying things. A lot of it is about the habits that our lives revolve around um, and creating those habits can be free. Take a look at some of the happiest people in the world like you don't see the Dalai Lama walking around with a steam deck in his pocket, do you? So, although I would absolutely love to see that. <laughs> but yeah, I uh, really hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know if you've got any tech that benefits your life in some meaningful way. Uh, I would absolutely love to hear about anything like that. You absolutely do not need to subscribe, uh, but if you're feeling generous, you can support the music charity that I run, that I spoke about once or twice in this video. If you check out our website, you can sign up to our Amazon Smile, which means every time you buy something on Amazon, through no cost to you, Amazon will donate something to our charity, which means you can support us completely free of charge, and it takes like 30 seconds to set up. If you ever get time to do anything like that, I would honestly appreciate it more than you can ever know. And thank you so much if you get the time to do that. Um, but yeah, thanks again, guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll catch you really soon. Thank you.